real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Ken Tarr started dating the defendant after they met at a fair, and they decided to travel together. While overseas, Ken says he proposed to the defendant, and she accepted, but ended up leaving him at the altar. He's suing his ex fiance for a computer system and wedding expenses. Defendant Naomi Emery says traveling with Ken was a nightmare because they fought constantly. Naomi says she only accepted Ken's proposal because she was drunk and she never intended on marrying him. Naomi's countersuing for plane tickets and a train pass. Start with you. Well, sir, I'm here today because uh, I met uh, Naomi back in 2010. Um, met her at the Orange County Fair. You know, she's a good-looking girl. I fell fell for her pretty quickly. Um, we you met up, her at the fair. Yeah, I was at the Orange Were County Fair. I saw her? her that she was on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> what? I saw that she was on the Ferris wheel. So I, I, I saw her, and then I went to this wine festival that my friend was was having there. They're at a little wine booth, and she came over, and I hit on her, and then um, we started, you know, just going That's out. Stalking. Uh, a little bit, maybe. I don't know. You see but a I woman see something at I like, the, I go after at, it. You see a woman at the fairgrounds, and you follow her everywhere I she goes. I see go. something I like, I go after it. And yeah, you stalk yeah. then. Yeah. You gonna go to jail. <laughs> You like be careful, you're going to go to jail. <laughs> go ahead. So, so uh, you, you stalked her and you met her and then what? We're all uh, into traveling. So we went on traveling on the West Coast uh, mm -hmm. here and there on the weekends. And uh, we have a lot in common. The only thing is I'm more of a business oriented type personality. We, we get along really well though. But um, the thing is we started talking about we wanted to go traveling, we wanted to see the world. We're originally going to go do it in February. I got really busy with work with my notary business. Um, I notarized different documents. It's really important. Um, I had to upgrade this entire computer system. You didn't get busy. You were broke. OK, so um, I continued. So uh, who paid for it? I paid for most of it. Go ahead. Your Honor, um, when I met her, she was in default on a car loan for. Well, both uh, of you all were broke. I'm not broke. <laughs> I want to establish that. I'm not broke. Huh? I'm not broke. Okay. I've been I costed money by the negligence that she... Why do you say she, he's broke? Because I paid for most of the trip. He's a notary public. Did she pay for most of the trip? The rent. Did she pay for most of the trip? Oh, sure, sir. I pay the rent all the time. So we had it worked out you a all deal live together? in advance. Defendant Naomi Emery is accused of getting engaged to the plaintiff and leaving him at the altar. But she insists she only accepted his proposal because she was drunk. You all live together, yes, com obviously? completely. All right. And you don't pay any of the rent? I wasn't, but I was paying all the expenses. Okay, go ahead, sir. So, we decided that we would start our journey in the Middle East. We had a good time, we went traveling through the Middle East, and we ended up in Thailand. I have some friends that work in uh, Thai boxing, Muay Thai, so they, they live in Thailand. I met with some friends. She has a lot of people that she just meets. Now, I'm a different kind of traveler than most people. I like to keep to myself. She likes to meet every Tom, Dick, and Harry, and Jane that's an American expatriate living in Thailand. I ain't about that, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to know some 65-year-old guy girls. from Memphis. You, you know? want to meet girls. Be real. Some 65-year-old guy from Memphis telling me which curry to buy. I'll buy the curry. It tastes good. How about that? <laughs> so, uh, new, new. We keep going on about this. She goes off for a day. I don't Do really you care. you want to talk about how many girls you met in Thailand? I'm not a jealous type, and she's not a jealous type, so I don't even know why she's bringing that up. So, anyway, things happen. We're having our relationship. She goes um, for one night out. That's fine, I'm gonna go check out some Buddhist monuments, whatever, enjoy Phuket, enjoy Thailand, enjoy Bangkok. She comes back the next night, she's gone. <laughs> I'm wondering what's going on because I know that people have been coming around my area, some of my paperwork's a little bit disheveled. Next night, she's not there. I go out looking for her, six inches of rain. I'm soaked in this monsoon. I'm starting to get really concerned at this point because it's been a couple nights, you know, we, we're still having uh, our nights together, um, but she's and not here this with night. The Thai women. Don't yeah. forget that. Go ahead, sir. So what happened? So uh, basically, I, I, I secure everything when I leave my apartment in my real life. And when I go on vacation, I try to do the exact same things. I don't try to leave sliding glass doors open. I don't try to like leave the windows open. I try to be real secure. What are you talking about? OK, there's a lot of rain. We were talking about your we're trip talking about in my Thailand, computer and you're talking about keeping your windows closed right. at home. Because with the rain coming into the sliding glass window, uh -huh. my computer was irreparably damaged due to her leaving the sliding glass door open and rain and condensation getting into the computer. I have the receipts here for the damages. Ma'am? Um, well, yes, we did go on a, on a trip. And <laughs> he, he went on the trip to, uh, to propose to me, which I declined. And um, the trip was going great initially, and then he started being a complete um, jerk. 
And um, he was really controlling. Uh, I, I like to go have fun. I like a free spirit. I like to, you know, just take a trip, relax, enjoy myself. Um, he had an agenda. Everywhere we went had to be specific, and um, it was just not fun. So by the time we got to Thailand, I was mad, and we were fighting the whole way. Um, and then in the middle of uh, me being mad, he asked me to marry him. Um, Did you say yes? I maybe if I was drunk, possibly just to get you like off my back. Your Honor, she did say yes, and we agreed to split the she wedding expenses. She said she said yes while she was drunk. And then she left me at the altar in Marseille. Go we ahead. went to France, and she left me at the altar. Because she was drunk when she told you she'd do it. Really? She was sober that, that day. That's, a, that, that's okay. what she said, sir. That's a justification. Sir, she didn't want to marry you. <laughs> That's let's, all good. let's just get past Someone all of this. this. Let's just get past <laughs> That's all, all good. of this. Someone she didn't want this. to marry you. Right. All right. Now, can I get back to you? <laughs> you say if you did tell him, it's because you were drunk. And now, I wanted else? him to shut up. Um, so I left the hotel room because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to see him anymore. And um, I came back to get my belongings. It was hot. Um, I may or may not have left the sliding glass door open. It was, was raining. Was it raining? It was, it was raining. It was hot in the, in the hotel room. I wanted to cool off a little bit. When you came in, it was raining? <clears throat> yes, sir. And you saw the computer? I didn't consciously, I don't consciously remember seeing it there. Um, he claims it got damaged because I left. So let me understand. You saw rain coming in? At, at the time, it wasn't coming in. The, the, okay. the, um, the window, door, whatever okay. it's called. Um, but it was raining, though. It was raining. You didn't yeah. think it was a possibility that it could come in? I didn't think about it because I was so mad. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> and I didn't really care. All right. Well, honest. you had a duty to care. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you pay. Yeah. Right. And so you were neglectful. You neglected to fulfill your duty. You had a duty to care while seeing rain and seeing the window open that perhaps it would be prudent to close the window to prevent the rain from coming in. Uh, therefore, you may be liable for that. Defendant Naomi Emery is accused of getting engaged to the plaintiff and leaving him at the altar. But she insists she only accepted his proposal because she was drunk. Wedding expenses, how does she owe you for that? Okay, the trip actually improved quite a bit. We went to Romania. We had a uh, good experience there. She was negligent with some of my camping equipment. You only think it improved because you were drunk? Ma'am, let him establishing finish. that just to, to prove that it's a pattern of behavior that she's al also done that in the past. Um, I'm just trying to say that we went to uh, Marseille. I had booked St. Vincent Abbey in Mar Marseille. Um, romantic wedding, romantic trip, the whole thing was supposed to be. But anyway, she had committed to, uh, she expect, accepted the wedding proposal. We said we'd, you know, pay for the wedding expenses together. Um, I reserved four nights. We were going to be conditional about the fifth night. Uh, arrived on June 4th. We ended up really starting to argue in Marseille. And then it looks like the wedding was going to be June 10th. About June 8th, she was um, letting me know there was cold feet. But then there was still, like, me showing up June 10th, waiting to get married, no one there. Sir, we need to pay your bills for this last, situation. Pr this was June 10th? Uh-huh. And prior to June 10th, when had you all last discussed the wedding? I proposed to her, I believe, uh, I mean, early on in March, I, I hinted at that we would begin married this year. But then I, I formally proposed, I believe, on May 27th. And she accepted your proposal on May 27th? Yeah, shortly after leaving Thailand. All right. And you all had planned, the agreement was June 10th. Mm -hmm. And what expenses did you... Uh... Well, I could present to you also the uh, invoice for the computer repairs, which I didn't give to you mm -hmm. earlier, but here is the receipt from... Ma'am, you say you never Victor agreed Abbey. to uh, a wedding? Correct. Okay. And it sounds like, sir, your lawsuit might be based, I don't know if that's what you're basing it on, a breach of promise, and there's no such law that exists anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't make a woman, uh, a woman has an opportunity to change her mind. Right, well, now, the financial you, aspects of that, though, sir. Mm -hmm. If you'll let me finish, I'll tell sure. you. <laughs> and the only other way that you could um, sue her is under the theory, contractual theory of detrimental reliance. You spent money based on what she had told you, mm -hmm. and she breached the agreement that she told you she would keep, and therefore it cost you money. So you have to prove today, one, that there was an agreement, 
and you say because you spent monies on the wedding that that should prove there was an agreement. I'm not sure if that proves it or not. Could be that you were delusional. <laughs> Let me see that, what you have. This is for what? Uh, St. Uh, Vincent Abbey in Marseille. It's just the folio that they printed out from when I requested that. Ma'am, what do you say to this? You say you may have told him yes? Right, when I was... Between May 27th and June 10th, were you all arguing? Yes. Sir, were you arguing frequently? Um, Frequently, but less than the than normal. Okay. So. All right. Yet you expected to get married to a woman who you were arguing with frequently while on a romantic trip. Your Honor, nothing's perfect. We actually had a lot of really no, good No, but times. it's not reasonable. A reasonable person would not maintain those plans, even if they said yes when they were drunk. Um, <laughs> why didn't she marry you? Did you ever find out why she left you at the altar? Um, I'm still waiting for a complete explanation. As All right. To what well, happened. ask her. He's a jerk. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get to your counterclaim. The airline tickets and the train pass you're suing him for. How does he owe you for that? Before we went on the trip, um, he had agreed to pay for half of the airline tickets and the train pass. And at the time, the reason why I said he was broke is because he didn't have enough money to pay for it at the time. And I said, okay, well, I'll put it on my credit card. You can pay me when you pay me, because that time we were still speaking and in love and all that stupid crap. And the, I'm um, suing for 2588 because he, the train pass was 468 and then his airline ticket was $2,120. Defendant Naomi Emery is accused of getting engaged to the plaintiff and leaving him at the altar. But she insists she only accepted his proposal because she was drunk. Sir, what do you say to this? The reason uh, that she agreed to pay for some more of the expenses on the trip than, than normal is because I pay for her Dodge Charger car payment every month, and I pay the rent, and I pay her credit cards, and I pay nearly every other bill. So the fact that she was paying for these airline situation, mm -hmm. um, it's all good. So basically. you're shortchanging yourself. Is that what you're saying? I you're mean, a good guy. You should have married him. <laughs> May I also present this for the computer uh, sure. repair bill as well? I'm sorry, sir. You have a picture of this computer, and mm -hmm. when was it purchased, sir? Uh, the original one here was purchased in 2010. This was purchased in 2012. Prior 2010 to 2010 and 2012. Yeah. And they, I mean, they are, like, inside zapped out. I hope you're not presenting me with items to perpetrate a fraud. So, you're telling me that this picture represents $5,000 worth of computer equipment in this day and age? Sir, mm -hmm. that is exactly the case. All right, and show uh, me your receipts me, where me you paid for. Let me explain to you why that uh -huh. is the damage of why? what it is. Why? Well, there's thousands of files that I have had uh -huh. eradicated from mm -hmm. the hard drive due to the condensation. But that's not what you provided me. You provided me with an right. amount based on... You didn't say files on here. You said equipment and labor. Right? You said nothing about files. What is the Your case involved? is dismissed. You attempted to perpetrate a fraud against me. Your judgment is granted $2,588. Next judge, don't perpetrate a fraud by giving him false documents. Every time you do it, a judge is going to dismiss it. Have a good day. Cost me $5,000. You're an idiot. I mean, I don't know why you think your computer's worth five grand, but whatever. No comment. <laughs>